open up his fingers. Which one is the real me, Jack? Uh, I lost track! Cybertron Weekly is your central hub for everything Transformers. Hello YouTube, Ultra Maximus back with another Transformers review. Today we're taking a look at another masterpiece figure, and it's the MP20 Wheeljack. I, you know, I've actually had this figure for a long time. I think I've had this since maybe, what, spring, early summer, something like that. And the only reason I even got this figure was I was online and they make glow-in-the-dark ears for Wheeljack, and I thought that was really, really cool. So I was like, eh, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and get this figure and uh, see what it's like. Uh, so I will be doing a review on that, but I'm going to wait until after this review because I want to charge up the uh, little glow-in-the-dark bits. But yeah, definitely kind of cool. Uh, I, You know, this is one of those figures I never had as a kid. My cousin had him. I always thought it was a really cool figure. And I've always liked the Wheeljack character, and I like the revamp of him in Transformers Prime. Uh, very different personality, but... Definitely like both of them. This, of course, is the classic G1 figure. So let's go ahead and uh, kick this off and take a look at the packaging. So here we have the Masterpiece Wheeljack box, and this is pretty much what we're getting here lately for the cars. we got the robot here, the vehicle there, this little uh, glow in the background, Takara Tony. This is an official Lancia product. Transformers Masterpiece looking real cool up here, and it's got the MP20 Wheeljack. Um, he is a... Uh, Lancia Stratos Turbo Racer. Uh, and then we got some Japanese down there. So yeah, definitely looking pretty cool. Bunch of Japanese I cannot read at the bottom. This side of the package has the vehicle mode. Looking pretty cool. And this side of the package has got Wheeljack and Robot mode. Looking really nice. Top of the package, as always, has Transformers Masterpiece in that nice shiny chrome. Back of the package. Uh, pretty cool looking. Lots of Japanese. Oh, I can't read. Vehicle mode. Um... There's accessories. We got Optimus talking to Wheeljack, and he just looked really short there. Um, I just, I, the scale of the, the cars to the Masterpiece Prime just seems short to me. It's just not the right height to me. Never has been. Uh, and then we've got him coming out of the back of Prime's trailer there, which I actually have this Masterpiece Prime now. I just got to get down and review it at some point. But yeah. Definitely pretty cool, and it tells you, hey, you got to put the uh, little mirrors on the vehicle itself. But yeah, so yeah, pretty much it. If you want to kind of a close up here, Prime and Wheeljack, all this stuff, and there he is offloading, and then there's how you put the stuff on. So yeah, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get Wheeljack out of the package and see what we think. So here we have Wheeljack out of package, and wow, that is a really nice looking car. Uh, he does come with his uh, shoulder weapon that you can mount on there. He also has a, a smaller blaster down there, uh, which T-Man actually said kind of looked like a, a, a torch of some kind, a tool, and I think he's right, it kind of does. But I also have, like I said, I've got the non-F Productions uh, glow-in-the-dark uh, ear replacements uh, and uh, I will be reviewing that I'm gonna charge it up so after this video I'm gonna pop this out and then put it on there and then I'm gonna actually let it sit and charge and then this evening uh, once it gets a little darker out and I can get the lights out uh, we're gonna test this and see how well this works so look for that video either later tonight or tomorrow anyway here is Wheeljack I really really like the look at this this really looks like the old Lancia race car. Um, I mean, it's painted just like he was on the show. I really do dig that. Um, the red, the green, 539. It's got all the markings on it. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, I'm just really, really digging it. And I think there was a Marlboro version of uh, Wheeljack by Takara when we were kids. Um, and of course, 
they were going to use that for exhaust, which is the Decepticon redo of this, and uh, they, uh, they had to make some changes due to copyright, and yeah, it is what it is. Um, back of the vehicle, painted tail lights. I love painted tail lights. It's so awesome. And the detail right here, I love. There's something about that that just looks really awesome. It's even got the uh, tie downs um, on the back here. We've got the gas tank, two gas tanks, um, the doors, all the stripes. The little tiny headlamps. Here's the front. Oh, I mean, that just looks so awesome. And all the vents. Very cool. The mono windshield wiper. It's even got the uh, bolt downs up here on the front, on the hood. I mean, it's just very, very well done. Um, and actually, not a lot of kibble underneath. So I'm very, very impressed with it. The other thing that is really cool, you can mount the weapon on here. There is... Love the little Autobot logo. Um, there's a little hidden button. I mean, it's so well done. I didn't know where it was at at first, and then I could see the you know the white line there. So if you want to, you can just take this, plop it in there, and now he has his weapon. That is a great hidden uh, gimmick. The, probably one of the best uh, ways to mount a weapon onto the vehicle. I really do appreciate that. I don't think I would use it very often because I think after a while it would rub the paint off, but it's definitely a nice little gimmick. I am liking it. For comparison, here we have the Masterpiece Wheeljack with the Transformers Age of Extinction Bumblebee Deluxe figure, and I mean, there's no comparison. This flat out looks like a model car. I'm really, really digging it. Um, size wise, it's a hair bit bigger than the Deluxe, which is good. Um, it's a nice, healthy sized figure. It's not as big as I wish these Masterpiece cars could be, but definitely pretty cool. Here's Wheeljack with the Chug Prowl. And uh, yeah, way better than this. This poor little guy, I really used to like this figure, and it's just, I mean, the older it gets, I think the more worn out it looks. It's definitely uh, seen better days, and well, the Masterpiece Prowl looks a lot better. And finally, here we have Wheeljack next to the Takara Year the Snake Voyager Class Optimus Prime from Transformers Prime. And, well, um, he is about Voyager size, really, uh, modern Voyager size, which is... It's kind of nice. I like that. Uh, but again, it just needs to be a hair bit bigger in my taste for the scale. And here we have Wheeljack in his robot mode. And gosh, this guy looks so good. There's really only one gripe I have with this figure, and it's these translucent wings. I just don't understand that. Everything else about this figure is gorgeous. It looks on point. Probably the best head sculpt of the Masterpiece line since Optimus, I think, or maybe even Soundwave. I mean, it's just G1 animation accurate. But these these translucent smoky wings, I just, I don't get these things. Um, why they're not silver, I don't know. I, I, I mean, you could paint them silver, I suppose, but it's just definitely unfortunate. Uh, maybe we'll get some upgrade parts for him at some point, or maybe they'll do a reissue with the proper colored wings. I just... I really don't understand it. Um, yeah, I mean, this guy is great. He looks good. Uh, transformation is a little bit tricky, especially when you get up around the back body parts. Be very careful. You don't want to uh, break the wings off. They seem like they could snap pretty easy. Um, other than that, I mean, it wasn't too terribly bad. Uh, just follow the directions. Make sure you're going right. It's not as easy as Bumblebee was. But uh, it's not too terribly bad. Not much robot kibble off the back. I like how the legs are really solid. Uh, posability, fantastic. Just like Bumblebee. Um, we've got a ball joint and a swivel up here in the shoulder. Um, he's got a bicep swivel, a joint here, articulated hands uh, that can also swivel. His head is on a ball joint, which is nice. Uh, his missile can move upward just a hair. Um, he has a waist swivel. He's got ball joints at his hips, swivels at his um, uh, hips as well. He's got knee joints. He does have some foot articulation. Overall, a very, very poseable figure. Now he's kind of lopsided here. Um, I really, really like it. Of course, he does come with his other little blaster if you want to put it in hand. Uh, the other cool thing is he can actually hold this gun piece, and that missile can come out if you want it to. I'm just going to leave it because... 
he rarely launched it off the show, but there's an iconic scene where he's holding the barrel and he can do that. Now to do it, the easiest way I found to do it is actually go ahead and pull this out. You're going to get the hand adjusted accordingly. Put the barrel into the hand before you actually bring the gun in and then just kind of maneuver it back and then get your gun into place and there he is he's got his barrel his weapon oh i love that uh, that's just like soundwave being able to press his own buttons just very very cool i'm so glad they did that um very appreciative i think they just knocked it out of the park with this except for the damn wings looking at the top of the robot itself uh it, the detail is really nice lots of molded detail up around here that head sculpt is g1 perfect love the metallic blue eyes the silver paint apps um love the gun love how it mounts onto his shoulder uh, the detail on the wings are really 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 nice it's just that translucent smoky plastic like the windshield and i just don't care for that that is my biggest gripe. I mean, I just, I think I'm gonna have to get some silver paint or something. It's just driving me absolutely bonkers. But that head sculpt, oh, just gorgeous to look at. So just kind of looking at the midsection of the bot, we've got the uh, back of the car kind of backpack in there, but that's okay. It's not much of a backpack and it hides a lot of the kibble. The arm's pretty decent. Um, I kind of wish you could fold away the spoilers, but that's all right. And the hands, uh, I like the articulation on them. The waist looks good. I think the body looks good. Love the Autobot logo, the green and the red. Very G1 reminiscent. And finally, a shot of the legs here. Again, I mean, they did a pretty good job as far as making the bottom of a car into the feet. It's very reminiscent of the G1 figure, I think. I really like that. You want to be careful about your little window, uh, rear window uh, mirrors. They, you know, those, those could snap off very, very easy, but fortunately, they stay in pretty good. Um, you know, and they got the back of the legs um, kind of scooped around, uh, kind of like they did with Bumblebee. Kind of makes it look a little bit more solid, and I'm definitely appreciative of that. One really cool thing uh, that I saw with this figure, and I really loved it, T-Man978. Uh, I saw this on his video and had to share it. Uh, definitely check out uh, his uh, review on this guy. I'll put a link down around here somewhere. Click on him, subscribe him, like him, watch his videos. He does some really good stuff and has a great Nintendo Amiibo collection, by the way. Um, you can actually uh, give Wheeljack the Matrix. Uh, which is kind of fun. So what you're going to want to do, because uh, this door panel opens up, but you're going to want to loosen these shoulder bits back here. And let me show you. All right. So what I've done, I've kind of loosened up uh, where they went to go to secure back behind the window here. And you want to do that because you want to be able to open up this canopy right here. Urgh, we can get it. Here we go. Make sure nothing's back there blocking it. So we can open that up uh, so that his chest cavity is open and we can put the matrix in. Let's see if I can do this relatively easy here. Urgh. Of course, it's having issues. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> How awesome is that? You can have Wheeljack wielding the matrix and then of course he can be coming in and of course, after I drop Matrix. Yeah, so that's a really cool pose. I like that. It's like Jackamus Prime or something. That doesn't sound right. But yeah, definitely pretty cool. Um, good job, T-Man. Uh, I really like that. I think that's just super fun. For comparison, here we have the Masterpiece Wheeljack with the Generations Chug Wheeljack and the Transformers Prime Wheeljack with Open Face Mask. Uh, yeah, definitely pretty cool. Uh, he is the best looking Wheeljack figure. I've got my collection. There's no doubt. I really did like this one a lot. And then, I mean, this is just icing on the cake. He looks so G1, it's scary. Here's Wheeljack next to the Masterpiece G2 Sideswipe and Tiger Track. Definitely looking pretty cool. I'm really liking these guys together. They're going to look real nice up on the Autobot shelf. And here we have the Masterpiece Wheeljack with Masterpiece Prowl and G2 Masterpiece Bumblebee. And 
The scale is perfect. I really like it. I mean, he's shoulder to shoulder with Prowl, maybe a hair taller than him. And then uh, G2 Bumblebee, I like the size difference. Love the deep gold on that G2B. Uh, and of course, Prowl has got the upgraded Dr. Wu Gatlin guns to try to give him that G1 look, but different at the same time. It's exactly the same, but different. And finally, here we have Wheeljack with Masterpiece Year of the Horse Optimus Prime Platinum Edition, also known as Blingamus Prime, and the Ultra Magnus MP10 UKO. So is the Masterpiece Wheeljack a figure you want in a Transformers collection? I'm going to say yes. He's not that cheap, but he's not that expensive. He's about $80, I believe, uh, at Big Bad Toy Store, which is where I got him. I think about the same price at TF Source, uh, Robot Kingdom, a few other places. So, I mean, he's relatively easy to find. I don't know if we're ever going to see a Toys R Us version of him. I would presume so, since we've got Prowl and Blue Streak and Starscream and such. Maybe the Toys R Us will have the silver wings. That'd be kind of nice. But... If you're a Masterpiece collector, you're really, really going to like this figure a lot. If you're a Wheeljack fanatic, this is going to be your holy grail. It is very, very well done. It poses well. Both the vehicle mode and the robot mode look good. Uh, the only downfall I have for this figure is the translucent wings. I just have no idea why they did that. That just really pisses the hell out of me. Um... They did such a great job with everything else. Why they didn't finish the wings off proper, I just don't understand. But it is what it is. So there he is, the Masterpiece Takara Wheeljack. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share. And as always, look for more videos in the future.